Are you realistic? Are your parents realistic? Is your coach realistic? We've all had someone tell us that something we want to do is unrealistic. With that being said, who determines what is realistic? You. Because only you know what you can create. When people tell you what is realistic, they are projecting their fears, their failures, and lack of vision on you. They can't see what is in your heart, the sacrifices you are willing to make, the work you are willing to put in. No one else could ever know what's inside you. Most people accept mediocrity as the best they can be, have, or do. Look around at the people you see every day. When you're out at school, in a store, what about around your neighborhood? Do they come across as exceptional or average? What if some of our greatest inventors listened to the critics who said that what they wanted to create was unrealistic? At the turn of the 20th century, the Wright brothers believed it was possible to fly in a machine and created the world's first airplane. The first successful man flight was December 17, 1903. The less familiar part of the story is about the doubters and the naysayers. At a time when cars were scarce, only one in every 3,500 families owned a car in 1900. The toaster was still six years away and a refrigerator was 10 years out from being a household appliance. In this time period, the idea of flight was completely incomprehensible. Outsiders thought they were crazy to invest their life savings and their time in something that was not realistic to them. When the Wright brothers knew that they could create a machine that would fly through the air, the average person couldn't comprehend keeping their food cold with electricity. Because they didn't listen to the naysayers and the doubters, they pursued their dream, allowing us to travel as we do today. What do you believe is possible? Don't let realistic get in the way of great. Get out your dream you wrote out a couple of sessions ago. Read it out loud to yourself. I want you to take notice of how your heart feels when you read it. Does it light up, get you excited, make you happy, or does it feel heavy? If you have that sinking feeling, relook at what you wrote down. Did you try to make it realistic? Or maybe it's not really your dream, but a dream that someone else has for you. Keep writing until it's something that, if this happened, it would be the greatest thing ever. So cool that you would be willing to do anything to make it happen. That's the dream you're looking for. Okay, here's your challenge. Rewrite your dream so it's something that, for lack of a better term, lights up your heart. Keep at it until you absolutely love it. See you next time.